This is Eagle Al, and let's get straight into it. Fletcher Cox come back on a one-year deal. One-year deal, $10 million. Definitely took a hometown discount. Not sure of the guarantees or anything like that. According to Adam Shelter, he had better deals out there. But wanted to come back to Philly, man. He wanted to come back to Philly, run this thing back. And um, this is the benefit of having a good team. You know, when you have a good team, players are willing to take a discount. I mean, Bradbury willing to take a discount. Hell, Slay might come back for a discount. Fletch coming back for a discount. You got Brandon Graham back. So to have Brandon Graham and Fletcher Cox, just those leaders on the defensive side, that is great. If some way, somehow, we could pull Slay back, who was a captain of the team, that's great. And you could possibly bring back C.J. Gardner-Johnson. That would be awesome. That would be great. But Fletcher Cox, you know, he ain't had the double-digit sacks, but I believe Fletcher had like seven, eight sacks. So he wasn't... He, he wasn't bad. He wasn't bad at all. He had a phenomenal season, but it wasn't a hard, hard grave season. But Hardgrave had like one of those out of this world seasons. But Fletcher was really, really good. And it's good to bring a uh, guy like him back because you got Jordan Davis who will be starting more than likely or Milton Williams might be starting. So they going to need that mentor there to help them out, especially with a hard grave not being there. And I know we're going to get a rookie defensive tackle. You're going to need Fletcher to help him out, too. So Fletcher will play a great mentor role, but not just a mentor role. He'll be a great rotational piece. Because I'm like, look, if Fletcher walk, we still got to bring a veteran in. I know people like, let the young guys, the young guys, and the young guys play. I I'm with that. But at the same time, you need guys that have been there who, who won before. Hell, who lost before who could teach you the ropes of the game. You know, when we went to the Super Bowl, a lot of people went up to Brandon Graham and Fletcher Cox, like, yo, how is it? Like, how? Like, what's the media like and this and that? And they gave them the game, you know? So it's just great to have veterans like this stay. Like I said, not only this signing was big, but Brandon Graham signing was big too, just to have that veteran presence on the field and not just any old veterans. These are vets that have been with the Eagles. You no, know, they is they've been with Nick Sirianni for a couple years now. They can bring that, keep that same culture here. So it's great to see these guys stay. Uh, Fletcher Cox, like I said, took the hometown discount, so I'm very very happy about that. And this might be, like I said uh, about Jason Kelsey, this might be Fletcher Cox last year. I, I won't be bad at it. This might be Fletcher last year. Brandon Graham, I believe, said he want to play two more. So, yeah, man, we, we, we got a, we got some pieces returning, man. We might not be dead in the waters in the defensive side. People got saying, man, look, they let Slay go. We're not sure what's going on with CJ and this and that. That whole defense is just depleted. They lost the linebackers. Let's just hold on a second. Only been, what, two, three days of this? Let's just hold on a second. But what do you think? How do you feel about Fletcher Cox coming back? And um, this is Eagle Al, and I'm out.